Okay guys, let's look in your brief atlas on page 28 and there's a picture of the cervical vertebra C5. Now guys, here we have the vertebra where you can see the articular surfaces where they're stacked on top of each other, on one on the other. Now guys, I'm just going to pick any vertebra because once you've learned C3, you know C3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, guys. Now, let's look at your book and let's look at number one. Number one in your book is the body of the vertebra. Here, this nice chunky piece, this is the body. The body can be seen from this superior view, from this anterior view, and from this inferior view. Okay? And remember, guys, to orientate yourself to the vertebra, the body is always in the anterior position. Now guys, number two, three, four, and five, you do not have to identify. You will not be responsible for numbers two, three, four, and five. So therefore guys, let's go right to number six, the transverse foramen. Now guys, here, this is the transverse foramen, but don't forget it's in the center of the transverse process. So here, you have the transverse process, this whole bone structure here, and that hole running in the center is the transverse foramen. And remember, it's on both sides of the anterior part of the vertebra. Now guys, looking at number seven, number seven is the pedicle. And if you can remember, the pedicle attaches the body to the process. So here is the pedicle, here is the pedicle. Now, number eight, again, this is no new information, guys, the superior articular process or facet. And remember, this is going to um, articulate with the inferior articulate process or facet on the vertebrae that's above it. The next feature, the inferior articular process or facet, we're going to turn it on this um, inferior side, and there they are. Inferior, inferior, articular, process, or facet. Turning it um, back right side up on the superior side. Now, guys, we're going to look at number 10, the lamina. And remember, guys, the lamina is on the side connecting process to process. Again, the lamina connecting process to process. And now, guys, while we have this posterior view, we're going to look at that spinous process. See, guys, this is that spinous process that projects posteriorly on the spinal column. Now, another feature on the spinous process, guys, you see this little tail, and it looks like it's split. This is called bifid. It's a bifurcation where a structure splits in two. So here is the spinous process, also known as bifid, because of this little split right here in the middle of the spinous process. And then the last feature, guys, is the vertebral foramen, that hole right in the center of the vertebrae. So now, guys, again, a quick recap. Number one in your book, the body of the vertebrae that can be seen from several views. Number six, the transverse foramen, which is located in the middle of the transverse process, found on both sides of the vertebrae. And here, guys, we have that pedicle, that pedicle that connects the body to the process. And then we have the superior articular process and faucet, or faucet, facet, excuse me, facet. If you turn on an inferior view, here are your inferior articular surfaces and then guys remember that lamina that lamina on each side that connects process to process number 11 from this posterior view here's that process known as the spinous process coming out the posterior spine 
Then we have a little split, that bifurcation, for short, bifit. And then the hole in the center is the vertebral for Raymond. And guys, remember when you stack all the vertebrae on top of each other, the spinal cord goes right through. That's where we house our spinal cord and protect it.